Weekly artificial intelligence and robot news. Science is creating unprecedented revolutions every day. Practically, we are approaching the days of dreams, the days of real sci-fi, just like we saw in the movies. We are stepping into a world of AI and robotics that would make the world faster, smarter, safer, and better. Here we have some glimpses for you. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and also press the bell icon to never miss an update about artificial intelligence, robotics, and future technology. That being said, let's begin. The warehouse robot from Boston Dynamics is now available for commercial purchase. Boston Dynamics' newest robot, Stretch, is intended for use in warehouses and distribution facilities. Stretch is part of a new generation of mobile robots, according to the business, and is one of the most sophisticated robots in the world today. Stretch, which was first released in the spring of 2021, has been in trial testing with a small number of clients over the past few months. Due to significant demand from early customers, such as DHL Supply Chain, Gap, H&M, and Performance Team, a Max company, all units slated for delivery in 2022, have already sold out. Stretch is a mobile robot that unloads floor-loaded trucks and containers, making warehouse operations safer and more efficient. The robot can handle cases weighing up to 50 pounds and works with a variety of package kinds and sizes, from ordinary brown to highly pictorial boxes. Stretch is designed to navigate in and out of trucks and tight locations in a warehouse, with improved mobility and a footprint the size of a pellet. The robot is a scalable, self-contained system that can be deployed and operational in existing warehouse infrastructure in a matter of days. Stretch has recently received a $15 million pre-order from DHL Supply Chain to help automate warehouses in North America. In addition, Boston Dynamics has struck a multi-year arrangement with the performance team to boost its warehousing and distribution capabilities. Stretch enhances logistical operations by making them more effective and predictable, says Boston Dynamics CEO Robert Plater. Stretch's technology is based on Boston Dynamics's decades of autonomous robot developments. Stretch is equipped with a strong, bespoke vacuum gripper and an innovative vision system that identifies boxes and the container's surroundings, allowing it to recover any parcels that shift or fall during unloading automatically. Stretch requires no pre-programming of SKU numbers or box sizes. The robot makes all unloading decisions in real time, without the need for explicit instructions or supervision. On a single charge, the robot can operate for more than a full shift or up to 16 hours with a high-capacity battery option. Next, AI will create 3D holograms on a smartphone in real time. Tensor holography, a novel approach that can operate on a smartphone, might enable the manufacturing of holograms for virtual reality, 3D printing, medical imaging, and more. Virtual reality headsets have struggled to dethrone televisions and computers as the preferred video watching devices. One explanation is that virtual reality may make people unwell, because VR gives the appearance of 3D viewing while the user is gazing at a fixed distance 2D display. Nausea and eye strain might occur. A 60-year-old technology reinvented for the digital age might hold the key to greater 3D visualization. Holograms. Holograms provide a remarkable picture of the three-dimensional world around us. They are also rather lovely. Holograms allow the eye to modify the focal depth, to alternatively focus on foreground and background, and they provide a dynamic viewpoint dependent on the viewer's position. Researchers have long attempted to create computer-generated holograms, but the method has historically necessitated the use of a supercomputer to run physics simulations, which is time-consuming and can result in less than photorealistic results. Researchers at MIT have created a new method for creating holograms virtually immediately and the deep learning-based technology is so efficient that it can run on a laptop in the blink of an eye, according to the researchers. The advancement might lead to a holographic technology spillover into sectors like virtual reality and 3D printing. It's commonly believed that commercially usable holographic displays will be ready in 10 years, says lead author Liang Shi. But this assertion has been around for decades. They used deep learning to teach the computer how to simulate the phase and brightness of light waves and they created a special library of 4,000 pairs of computer-generated pictures. Tensor holography can create holograms using pictures that contain depth information, which is typically missing from computer-generated images. The Tensor network changed the parameters of its calculations by learning from each picture pair. The completely optimized network outperformed physics-based computations by orders of magnitude, 
This breakthrough paves the path for real-time 3D holographic displays with a memory footprint of less than 1 megabyte. Following that, we have an artificial fingertip with a human-like sense of touch. May help robotics and prosthetics. Scientists in the United Kingdom have developed a 3D printed fingertip that can feel and touch surfaces similarly to humans. The technique, according to researchers at the University of Bristol, might make robots far more nimble and possibly aid enhanced prosthesis. Being able to 3D print tactile skin might develop more dexterous robots or dramatically improve the function of prosthetic hands by giving them an inbuilt sense of touch," said Nathan Leopra, professor of robotics and AI at the University of Bristol. The artificial fingertip was created by Leopra and his colleagues using a 3D printed mesh of pin-like papillae that simulates the movement seen between the inner and outer layers of human skin. The synthetic fingertip's feeling of touch was startlingly similar to that of natural skin, according to the researchers. While the artificial fingertip and human nerve impulses had a remarkably close match, it was not as sensitive to fine detail. The robot sense is slightly more hazy than human perception. Because artificial skin is thicker than human skin, his team is currently looking at 3D printing structures of a tiny size. Touch technology that mimics the sensitivity of a human fingertip has been created by scientists in the United Kingdom and Germany. Sensors detect forces and shear forces, which robots are already capable of. Our skin, on the other hand, can detect vibrations and temperature in a way that machines cannot. The two teams expected that their invention would boost industrial productivity. In an AI economy, the next step is to build global AI that has a local influence. Flexible, remote labor is the new foundation of the artificial intelligence AI economic system. Organizations developing AI may now engage with people from nearly everywhere, including previously unreachable regions, thanks to technological advancements that allow for remote collaboration on an unprecedented scale. Individuals from all around the world may now make important contributions to AI development, particularly through knowledge preparation and annotation efforts. As a result, a totally new and rapidly growing freelancing class has emerged, focusing on AI coaching knowledge, annotation and collection. While many AI financial system members are seeking ways to make more money, some information annotators are in the AI financial system because they're looking for tougher alternatives. Contributors benefit greatly from the increased opportunities that flexible employment provides, regardless of their motivation. Geography isn't an impediment to talent development or involvement in projects that pique their interest. Before joining Appen, 32% of Appen contributors were living below the global poverty line, and of them, 53% have been raised above it thanks to their labor in the AI financial system. Residents from far-flung communities collaborate with people from the world's most major tech centers. This cross-collaboration has a particularly large impact on the development of AI solutions that benefit everyone. Then there's John Deere's self-driving tractor, which has sparked a debate over artificial intelligence in agriculture. With the first commercially successful steel plow in 1837, Deere & Co. contributed to the mechanization of agriculture. The business presented a vehicle on Tuesday that may be as transformative, a fully autonomous tractor. The new John Deere 8R tractor perceives and navigates its environment, using six pairs of stereo cameras and powerful artificial intelligence. When given a path and coordinates, it can make its way to a field on its own and plow the soil or plant seeds without assistance, avoiding obstacles along the way. A farmer may use a smartphone app to give the machine fresh commands. Self-driving tractors have the potential to save farmers money and automate work that is now threatened by a manpower shortage in agriculture. However, automating more farming and using AI may spark controversy over who will replace labor, as well as who would control and utilize the data generated. After that, Amazon Scout will be used to field test a new delivery method. We continue to invest in innovative technology at Amazon to serve our customers. We've been hard at work building Amazon Scout, a revolutionary electric delivery system that will securely deliver items to consumers utilizing autonomous delivery units. These Amazon-designed machines are about the size of a small cooler and move along sidewalks at a strolling pace. How does Amazon Scout's shipping work? Customers in Snohomish County place their orders as usual and Amazon packages are delivered by one of our trusted partner carriers or by Amazon Scout. Customers may shop on the Amazon app or Amazon.com and get the same quick, free, same-day, one-day and two-day shipping that Prime members get. They've started with six Amazon Scout devices that will deliver items during daylight hours during Monday through Friday. 
The gadgets will follow their delivery route automatically at first, but will be accompanied by an Amazon person. At our Seattle Research and Development Center, we created Amazon Scout to ensure that the devices can navigate around dogs, people, and anything else in their path securely and effectively. Next, there's the possibility that AI algorithms will damage the human ability to reason. In a report to Congress this year, the US National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence found that AI is world-changing. AI is also changing people's minds. Since the AI-powered machine is now the mind, this will be a reality in the 2020s. We are learning to rely on AI for so many things as a society that we may become less inquisitive and more trusting of the information AI-powered computers deliver. In other words, we may already be outsourcing our thinking to computers, resulting in the loss of a component of our agency. They are coming to rely on AI for so many things as a society that we may become less inquisitive and more trusting of the data supplied by robots. The trend toward more AI use shows no signs of slowing down. In 2021, private investment in AI will reach an all-time high of $93.5 billion, more than doubling from the previous year. We are more inclined to trust other apps and proceed through life on autopilot if we trust an app to discover the shortest route between two points. We will subconsciously swallow without thinking what we see in news feeds, social media, searches and recommendations. How else could the QAnon conspiracy theory that there are Satan-worshipping pedophiles in the US government, industry and media out to harvest children's blood be explained? The conspiracy idea began with a series of posts on the message board which quickly spread across other social media platforms thanks to recommendation algorithms. According to a report in the Wall Street Journal, as the brain grows more reliant on technology, the intelligence deteriorates. If this is the case, AI may create a self-fulfilling cycle that fulfills our desires while weakening our intelligence and locking us into a pre-existing worldview. Next, squirrels are being used to model the army's future robots. Researchers at UC Berkeley are trying to figure out why fox squirrels are such good jumpers. Squirrels appear to have exceptional judgment since they consistently land risky-looking leaps. Military robots may be able to make split-second evaluations and microscopic alterations as they negotiate complex terrain in the future, according to this research. Owing to a recent study undertaken at the University of California, Berkeley, future US Army robots will be able to independently roll or walk over uneven terrain with ease thanks to an unexpected hero, the common squirrel. The United States Army is researching squirrels to figure out why they're so excellent at making perilous leaps to get tasty peanut goodies. Scientists may be able to design more nimble robots by better understanding the split-second decisions squirrels make when they hop from branch to branch. Squirrels are so adept at reading obstacles while keeping in mind the physical limitations that they nearly never fall. Researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, are training squirrels to do leaps in exchange for goodies. The US Army, the National Science Foundation, and the National Institutes of Health are all contributing to the study. According to Culver, this research might also aid autonomous robots in making better real-time judgments. Berkeley researchers are also looking at how their research may help search and rescue robots. Robots entering fallen buildings, earthquake-shattered ground, or other catastrophe zones will face several challenges. Except their purpose is determined, Culver writes. The same concepts that apply to the required performance characteristics of a robot in the future battlefield apply to robots in search and rescue. The settings will continue to be unpredictable, and those robotic agents will need to be adaptable as well. The battlefield, like the catastrophe zone, is a perilous area full of dangers. Although future army robots will not look like the squirrels and will not leap for peanuts, their internal decision-making skills may be based on them. So these are the amazing new updates for this week. With that, today's episode of our weekly updates on the newest futuristic technologies and robots comes to the end. Next time, we'll bring you even more exciting robot news. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with us. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.